The power to bring prosperity and abundance. It has the power to bless your financial life. It has the power to bring solutions to your problems. And this prayer is the prayer of Psalm 23. David's Prayer And at this moment, I want to say this prayer with you. We need to do it seven times in a row. It is also very important that you do it for seven days in a row. You choose the best time of day to do it. And then, if you can continue with this habit, even better. This prayer will bless your financial life a lot. It will make you see God blessing you in a supernatural way. Do you believe this? Prepare your heart and let's pray. The prayer that will prosper and bless your financial life. There is a prayer among the psalm, which when it is made, with much faith, has the power to bring prosperity and abundance. It has the power to bless your financial life. It has the power to bring solutions to your problems. And this prayer is the prayer of Psalm 23. David's Prayer And at this moment, I want to say this prayer with you. We need to do it seven times in a row. It is also very important that you do it for seven days in a row. You choose the best time of day to do it. And then, if you can continue with this habit, even better. This prayer will bless your financial life a lot. It will make you see God blessing you in a supernatural way. Do you believe this? Prepare your heart and let's pray. The prayer that will prosper and bless your financial life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God, I want to ask you at this moment for the blessing and anointing of prosperity, of fullness and abundance, of green pastures, of the overflowing cup, on the life of this person who at this moment is saying this prayer with me. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus I ask you, that the hands of your son, your daughter, who now receives this prayer, be blessed. May everything she touches from now on prosper. May every type of currents, every impact, malignant force that you have on your children's life, that has been hurting their growth, their advancement, fall to the earth, in the name of the Lord Jesus. May every spirit of poverty, misery, struggle, difficulty, scarcity, retreat, and may your presence, I God, be present in every day of your children's lives. May they walk from here on, from glory to glory, from Victoria to Victoria, and live in a time of full, of abundance and prosperity, in all areas of their lives. Repeat with me. All the blessings of Psalm 23 are on my life at this moment. God is already opening the doors I need, bringing the answers I need. Putting the right people and opportunities in my path. And it will make me from now on to live a supernatural harvest for a time. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As written in the third letter of John, chapter 2, I believe that this will be the time of your financial growth, this will be the time when God will make you prosper. To the point of having it to lend. Just believe. I prophesy that from now on, all your tests will be transformed into testimonials, and all the stones on your path will become steps, towards your success, to your growth, to your advancement. To the honor and glory of God.